In this tutorial, we will create this hotel booking system. We can list rooms, book room, check out, and exit. Now let's list like this. As you see, we are getting rooms inside the hotel. Let's book. Enter room number. Let's say, for example, room number three like this. Room three has been booked. Now let's list again. And as you see, we are getting room three is booked. Now let's check out like this. Enter room number. Let's say, for example, room number two, which is this room like this. We are getting room two is not currently booked. Now let's check out again like this. Enter room number. Let's say, for example, three, which is our room like this. Room three has been checked out successfully. Now let's exit and we are getting exiting the system goodbye. So let's create this project using Python. So let's start by creating this dictionary rooms. We will have the room number like this as the key and the value will be a nested dictionary containing some details about the room. Then we will create this function list rooms. We will say for room number, which is this number and info, which is this nested dictionary in rooms.items and we are saying dot items because we are looping over keys and values. We will say status will be equal to booked if info booked, meaning that if this value is true, this will be equal to booked. Else, this status will be equal to available like this. Then we will print the room details like this. Now let's create the following function. So we will create this function book room. We will take a user input saying enter room number to book. Then we will say if room number in rooms, which is our dictionary, we will check the following. We will say if not rooms, room number booked, meaning that if the booked status is equal to false like this, we will say the following. We will set the status to be equal to true. Then we will print room number has been booked successfully. Else, meaning that if the status is equal to true, we will print room number is already booked like this. Else, meaning that if this room number is not inside the dictionary, we will print room number does not exist. Now let's create this function, which is the checkout function. We will take again the user input saying enter room number to check out. Then we will say if room number in our dictionary, we will check. We will say if rooms room number booked, meaning that if the status is equal to true, we will set it to false like this. And we will print room number has been checked out successfully. Else, meaning that if the status is equal to false, we will print room number is not currently booked. Else, meaning that if this room number is not inside the dictionary, we will print room number does not exist. Now let's create the main function like this. So we will say the following. We will create our main function and we will create an infinite while loop. Then we will print the menu like this and take a user input saying enter the choice. Then based on the choice, we will choose which function to call like this. And if the choice is equal to four, we will print exiting the system and we will break, meaning that we will terminate this infinite while loop. Else we will print invalid choice. Please try again like this. Now let's call our main function like this. So we will simply say if name is equal main, meaning that if we are running this file as the main file, not as an imported module, we will call this function, which is the main function. Let's run and see the result. Now let's list rooms like this. Let's say, for example, we will book room number two like this. So I will say room number two. Now let's list again. And as you see, this is the new list. I will check out room number two. Room number two has been checked out. Let's exit. And as you see, this is the final result.